and it shall fail. My name is Crystal Dilworth. I'm a PhD candidate in molecular neuroscience at the California Institute of Technology. Today in the fail lab, we have Dr. Heather Watts. Heather is an assistant professor of integrative biology at Loyola Marymount University. She did her PhD work in Kenya, where she studied the interaction between spotted hyenas and lions. Okay, disaster. Homo sapiens are social creatures. We also have a unique response to emergencies. Let's take a look at a group of Homo sapiens as they respond to an emergency. It's interesting that we don't see chaos like in a Hollywood disaster movie. We do expect a panic response based on neurophysiology. Oh, so how are you going to explain that without your brain? Our homo sapiens are in a very dangerous situation. The boat is crashing and their brain registers this. The sympathetic nervous system is also activated. This leads to an increased heart rate that can flood muscles with blood and oxygen so they're primed to fight or flee. The amygdala also registers fear. So why don't the people panic? The amygdala is also connected to the brain's executive processing center, the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex works to reduce fear and solve problems, in this case by working together. In fact, we see this pro-social response in almost all disasters. Okay, across a number of species, we see there's usually a subset of individuals that are more likely to emerge as leaders because of particular traits. Individuals that are socially dominant, individuals with special knowledge of a situation, individuals that are motivated by need for a resource are all more likely to emerge as leaders. Can we actually rewind uh, and take a look at that clip? So if you look here, the woman who takes control is the only one to brace herself before the impact, suggesting that maybe she knows what's going to happen. Once the crash occurs, the other humans recognize, perhaps subconsciously, her leadership cues. Regardless of these skills, this woman may emerge as a leader not because of who she is, but because of what she is. In a number of species like zebras, lemurs, and gibbons, we see that reproductively active females are likely to take leadership roles. So it's not surprising that this woman steps up and emerges as a leader. So is this really a fail? Well, the woman demonstrated fantastic leadership and guided the group out of danger. But what about for the passengers? They didn't panic and they followed an effective leader. So it's a double win. We want to know what you think. Was this a win or a fail? Also, send us videos of leadership for us to analyze in the fail lab. And follow us on Facebook, where the conversation continues. Thank you very much, Dr. Watts. Sure, it was great. And thanks to all of you for stopping by. We'll be back next week with more science. But until then, when you're half naked and panicked and calling for mom, okay. you've got psychosis.